हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ सेमेस्टर थर्ड फार्मा कोग्नोसी एंड द फाइटो केमिस्ट्री वन सो हियर वी स्टार्ट विद द यूनिट फाइव यूनिट फाइव एक्चुअली डील्स विद द प्राइमरी मेटाबोलाइट्स सो इन दिस पार्ट वन विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्राइमरी मेटाबोलाइट्स इंट्रोडक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉपर्टीज हाउ द प्रोडक्ट्स आर हाइड्रोलाइज वॉट आर द एनर्जी सोर्सेज and total in primary metabolites there are eight drug in your syllabus in this part 1 we will discuss two drugs and the next next drugs are discussed in part 2 of the primary metabolites so let's start with your basic context of the primary metabolite that you have to emphasis on in this primary metabolite we will study about general introduction of every drug you have to study the chemistry sources preparation chemical constituent uses of each and every drug the drug that is your syllabus are acacia agar pectin guar gum honey starch sodium arginate pectin and guar gum so the content by which we will go through is the overview of the metabolic pathways what are primary metabolites what are the differences between primary and secondary metabolites what are carbohydrates classification different identification test of the carbohydrate like osazon test and others carbohydrate containing drugs and their details so first let's come to the basic metabolic pathway metabolic pathways comprises of a series of chemical reaction what are metabolic pathway series of chemical reaction that take place inside the cell wall are the metabolic pathway the reactant this is the reactant and the product product means the final product or we can say the intermediate which are formed as the result of enzymatic and the enzymatic reaction taken place are called metabolites means reactant from the reactant products are formed through enzymatic reaction are called the metabolites these enzymes need dietary minerals vitamins and different enzymes to perform now there are basically two types of metabolite one is primary metabolite and other is secondary metabolite the most important point is the primary metabolites are the precursor for the secondary metabolite and these primary metabolites help in role in the synthesis of the plant help in photosynthesis but secondary metabolites has the pharmacological importance they are considered primary considered as the basic plant constituent i have written also they are simple in instruction they do not have any biological or pharmacological importance so this is the basic difference between primary and secondary metabolite primary are utilized by the plants and for the met uh, metabolites and uh, this primary through this primary metabolite the plant are utilized this primary metabolite and responsible for the physiological function of the plant body for example starch chlorophyll and cellulose and this degradation of carbohydrate and sugar generally process through a certain pathway for example glycolysis pathway krebs citric acid cell pathway this pathway you will be better understand in the separate chapter one chapter is there for the pathway different pathway metabolism you have to study in unit 1 in that time you will better understood about the citric acid cycle krebs cycle most organism can synthesize only a proportion of amino acid which they require for the protein synthesis and some are not synthesized in the body are called as essential amino acid they can be obtained from the natural sources secondary metabolites are the precursor uh, primary metabolites are the precursor for the secondary metabolites means sec primary metabolites a secondary form of them secondary metabolite are biosynthesized from the primary secondary are potent in their action they have a certain physiological action and they are called as the active constituent secondary metabolites are called as the active constituent see i have given you the chart for the description of the primary and the secondary from photosynthesis primary metabolism occur then from primary secondary metabolism and through secondary metabolite we will get several active constituent like anthocyanin isoflavonone flavonone phenolic lipids protein variety of constituents now comes to the first primary metabolites that are carbohydrates as you all know carbohydrates are the sugar and the major source of the energy they are basically chem chemically they are polyhydroxy aldehyde and keto 
द कार्बोहाइड्रेट और द पॉलीहाइड्रॉक्स या एलडीहाइड और कीटोन एंड ऑन हाइड्रोलाइसिस देगी ग्लूकोज कार्बन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स बेसिकली कंट्रे कंपोज ऑफ कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन नाउ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल एंड दे आर प्रोड्यूस बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस एज यू कैन सी इन द रिएक्शन सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस सिक्स एच टू ओ इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट और क्लोरोफिल गिव सी सिक्स एच टू एल एंड ओ सिक्स नाउ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स मे बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू फोर टाइप्स वन इज मोनो डाई ऑलिगो एंड पॉली एज द नेम सजेस्ट मोनो मीन्स वन शुगर डाई मीन्स टू शुगर ऑलिगो मीन्स टू टू टेन शुगर एंड पॉली मीन्स टेन और मोर एंड दीज आर द सेपरेट एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर द मोनोसेक्राइट एग्जाम्पल इज ग्लूकोज फ्रक्टोज डायसेक्राइट सुक्रोज ऑलिगोसेक्राइट रेफिनोज एंड पॉलीसेक्राइट इज द स्टार्च दीज आर द जनरल स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक मोनोसेक्राइट्स कैन बी फर्दर हाइड्रोलाइज इन टू सिंपल शुगर so you can learn any one or two structure for example glucose or fructose next is the disaccharide it yields two molecules here you can see sucrose give glucose and fructose tri yields three molecule you can see refinose give glucose fructose and galactose and another on hydrolysis infinite number of monohydrates are pro produced in polysaccharide and the formula for polysaccharide is c6h10o5 for the identification of carbohydrate we have to perform certain identification test the most important test is the molish test in this we will take the sample or the extract we will treat it with concentrate h2so4 and add alpha naphthol at the junction we will get purple colored ring this proves that the substance contain the carbohydrate next test is the reduction to felling solution in this we will take the solution sample will treat it with equal amount of felling a and b this will give brick red precipitate now another test is the osazon formation test in this whenever the carbohydrate sample solution treated with vinyl hydrazine and sodium acetate on addition of acetic acid it will form a yellow colored crystals now the first drug that comes under the category of carbohydrate is the acacia i have already told you about acacia in detail in the class lecture but again i am telling you that in every drug of the carbohydrate you have to study in detail the synonym the biological source cultivation collection method of preparation constituent one is structure and the uses okay Const chemical constituent and structure is the compulsory biological source you have to write with the family for example acacia obtained from the dried gummy exudation from the stem and branches of acacia arabica and family is leguminosae physical characteristics are odorless they are bland and mucilaginous how acacia is prepared there are the different methods sometime in exams question may come like this method of preparation of acacia so acacia is a kind of gum so you should know that this gum is scraped out and spread it over the sun dried or in the artificial dryers they can be dried and they can take keep on the outer surface dried it properly and form the final transparent gum next acacia solubility is it is it is insoluble in water insoluble in alcohol and the soluble in water this is the form of powdered gum arabic the major constituent is arabin and arabin contain calcium magnesium and potassium salts the use of any gum acacia or agar is mainly the suspending agent and emulsifying agent what is suspending agent when you use as a suspension to prevent it from sedimentation we are adding suspending agent so they are widely used in the formulations in the pharmaceutical formulations like in micro encapsulations next acacia the acacia standard as we are studying the acacia the acacia standards are moisture content should not be less, more than 15% we can also learn the different identification test for the acacia market preparation for the acacia as per uh, my knowledge is dental cream and an eye cure syrups are coming and manufactured by the himalaya drug company acacia an overview what i have taught you is given in a overview in short like synonym is gum acacia gum arabica biological sources acacia arabica families leguminosae these are the chemical constituent uses and adulterants i also given the structure if possible draw the structure too 
Second drug is the tragacanth, the biological source is astragalus gummifer, dried gummy exudation of astragalus gummifer. Family is leguminosae. You should know about the cultivation collection, the method of preparation, how the gum is produced. This is the pictorial you can show, you can see here that the gum uh, plant, how tragacanth plant looks like, how the powder looks like and the final gum tragacanth formulations. These are the physical or the morphological character. The standards according to the IP sulfate these are the physical characters of the tragacanth that it should not more than sulfate it should not more than 4% for an organic matter for checking the impurities, moisture content. These are the identification tests that can be used for checking the tragacanth. Chemical constituent is it consists of the tragacanth that is 8 to 10%, it should be water soluble, and the basic uses of the tragacanth is. It is demulcent, emollient, it can be used as a thickening agent, suspending agent and emulsifying agent. So these are the basic uses of the tragacanth. This is also used for the stabilizer in the ice creams. This is the general overview for the tragacanth. You can see here. Now these are the two drugs, acacia and tragacanth. These are the books which are the reference books for the uh, primary metabolite. Some review articles are also there, some PowerPoint presentations are also there where, from where I have referred and Vinod Rangari, Ashutoshkar, CK Kokate are the books you can use. Thank you, be safe, stay healthy and please do visit the second part of the primary metabolites.